Today I'm going to show you how to make a speaker using the Cricut Design Space Offset Tool. When you are using the Cricut capability to print and cut, you will need to use a printer. Cricut recommends an inject printer. Today I'm going to use the Epson Expression Photo XP15000. The reason why I like this printer is that it's wireless. You can fit the material from the bottom or rear. It works with cardstock and the quality of the prints is great. Now, let's begin. It is essential to mention the maximum printing area when using a Cricut machine is 925 by 675 inches that is equivalent to 17 by 23.5 centimeters. The print and cut capability is available for Cricut Maker 3, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explore 3 and Cricut Explore 2. The print and cut capability is not available for Cricut Joy. Before I start a sticker project, I like to insert a square, modify the dimensions to match the maximum area, and use it as a guide. I don't like to use black, so I'll change the color to green. There are two kinds of stickers. Die cut stickers are cut as single pieces, and kiss cut stickers come as sheets. Today I'll be making die cut stickers. One of the easiest ways to make stickers is using images from the Cricut library. To do it, you need to be subscribed to Cricut Access. Go to images. If you want, you can search for a specific image in the search box or select one based in categories. When making stickers, I prefer to use the category of image sets. Since these images are part of a collection, they have more relation one to another. I'll use this collection. As you can see, it has the green flag with the letter A, so you need to have Cricut access to be able to use it. I'll select six of these, insert images, modify the dimensions. I'll separate them. I have Leo selected. As you can see in the layer panel, it has six layers. Click on flatten and they will become one print and cut layer. I'll do the same with the other images. Move the images over the guide. Now I'll use offset to make die cut stickers. Offset is a new tool of design space. It was added a couple months ago. It's still beta, which means Cricut is still working on it. This tool is only available in the desktop application. I'll select each of these images and give them an offset of 0.15 inch. If you notice, some of the background layers have some openings, which I'm going to clean up. Select all the background layers, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard. Go to operation and change it to basic cut. Now you can use the contour tool. Select the background layer, click on contour and remove the openings. I will do the same with the other pieces that have the same issue. Now select all the background layers and change the color to white. Now I'll select each image and its background and click on flatten. As a result, I will have six layers with stickers. When making this kind of stickers, you want to fit as many as possible in the sheet of paper. I'll add two more. As you can see, I added two more. I'll hide the layer I use as a guide. Select everything and click on attach. I'll use Cricut Maker 3, but you could also use Cricut Maker, Cricut Explore 3, or Cricut Explore 2. Click on Make It. The first operation is Print, then Cut. The black margin you see around the images are the registration lines. Cricut will read this to cut each of the images. Continue. Click on Send to Printer. 
I'll be using the Epson XP15000. The number of copies is one. For this kind of sticker, it doesn't matter if I add a bleed. I'll activate the system dialog because I want a specific setting on my printer. After you click on print, minimize this window because your printer dialog will show up behind. The printer settings are going to be different based on your printer. I'll go to print settings. In the paper source, I need to make sure to select the rear paper fit. Now click on print. There are many brands of paper to make stickers. One of my favorite is Cricut printable vinyl. This will work with most printers since it's thin paper. Cricut also has a sticker paper, but it's thick cardstock. If you don't have a printer that can work with cardstock, assume it won't work and you may junk your printer. There are other brands of sticker paper available at your local craft stores or online. I love that with this printer you can choose to use the button or the rear feeder. As you can see, here are the registration marks. Select the material. For these stickers, I create a custom material. I have it in my favorites. I'll show you how to create a custom material. Click on Browse All Materials. Now click on Material Settings. I create two custom materials. One is for die cut stickers with theme material. It has a pressure setting of 200 and the other for die cut stickers with cardstock has a pressure of 350. I like to use my initials when naming the material I create. That way I know which one I added. To create a new material, go to the button and add a new material. Now I'm going to close this window and select the material I create. I've already loaded the fine point blade and now I will load the mat. The process will be the same if you are using Cricut Maker 3, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explore 3. And if you are using Cricut Explore 2, make sure to set the dial to custom. Load the mat and start the job. I fast forward this part of the video. The process to cut these designs took 5 minutes. Based on the machine you are using, you may need to play with the pressure. I put together these stickers the same way as the previous ones, but I will print them using Cricut sticker paper that is thick and using the other settings for die cut stickers cardstock. As mentioned, not all printers work with cardstock, however the Edson XP15000 does and when you are using thick material, you should use the rear feeder. When making stickers, you must play with your printer settings. For example, I use as material type velvet paper for these stickers. It took more time to print, but the results were fantastic. Load the mat and start the job. I fast forward this part of the video. The process to get these designs took 2 minutes. To get the best results when making stickers, it's essential to use quality paper and a good printer. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I want to thank Edson America for sending me this printer, it surpassed my expectations. If you are interested in a Cricut machine or this printer, I'm going to share the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.